Welcome back to Sweet Transit, everyone. I'm Wildwing94. Hope your day is doing well. We left off the other day, spanning out some cotton, got some clothes for our people, boosting our worker population here, expanding out our rail network a little bit. And today, we're going to start off producing stone per minute. Our number's a little low there. A little green production bar here. It's quite low as well. Uh, and the other things that we want to get done, it's going to cost a little bit of stone. So close per minute and reaching this laborer's population uh, to unlock the wheat. Hopefully get a wheat farm down today. Uh, it's all going to end up costing us stone. So might as well get that done. A wood, 100% fine. We've been working on that the last couple episodes. So we're doing okay there. Uh, first things first, we got to make sure our numbers are doing okay. Let's see where the problem is. So it looks like, honestly, we're just not making enough. Getting enough cut stone in. So why don't we start with that? And it's also going to allow us to get some bigger trains. So. Let's, ooh, spooked me a little bit there. Let's go ahead and build out another quarry. Let's go ahead and do two while we're here. Why not, all right? Let's just get this production going. Um, let's do this. Let's get two going. So we're going to need probably two more cars. Let's make sure we have a preset for that. Uh, we'll probably go ahead and use that one. Excuse me. And upgrade this. Do a little confirm. Boom. So, should be good on our increase there. Hopefully when we get this mark here, uh, we will be able to hit our max train limits. Really be moving some goods around. And then the other thing we're going to look at is how big these guys are. I think we're maxing our trains out. Maybe not. Can we add one more on there? We cannot. All right, so let's go check our cut stone train. Maybe we can throw a bigger train on here. There we go. We'll confirm that as well. Hopefully get a little bit more moving out of our station here as well. Get that going. <laughs> uh, we got a little itty bitty train stations everywhere. All right. an easy fix. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Good there, good there. All right, trying to max our stations out as we go along here. Should hopefully start seeing this tick up a little bit and our reserves get a little bit better. And do we have, I want to see our drop-off train come in. Ooh. I like the little uh, sound effects. We must have gotten a little update. Or I've had the music playing just so loud in the background I haven't been able to uh, notice it. All right, so let's build us a train. 
max that out. Save it as a preset. We'll let this unload. Chugga chugga boo boo. I like the little background noises. They're infrequent enough that they don't annoy me. You know, a lot of games have just the like constant dr just droning on in the background that it's like, oh my gosh, okay, shut up. Alrighty, alright, alright. Close per minute, we're ticking up as well. I think we're just going to have to smack in a little bit more production. Which is okay. Get a little expansion going on. A little bit more jobs. Who doesn't like more jobs? Pop that down. Let's leave a little path. We'll start with three, see what our uh, rate looks like. We should hopefully be enough with that. Maybe need a second train. Doing plus 80. The quarry's not too far away. Produce some per minute, guys. Oh my gosh. How many of you have been screaming for the past five minutes that it's stone per minute and not cut stone? Uh oh, this guy. Um, so what do we need? 180. These are pumping out. 36. Oh, it's too early for math. Uh, let's do 40. So we're going to get a bonus per. So we need 5 total. And we're going to need one more upgrade on our train. We'll throw one more. Boop. Should be good. Do a little upgrade. It's not what I want. Did we not save? just didn't scroll far enough. This is what happens when you drink a quarter of a cup of coffee. Your brain says, ha ha, there we go. Look what happens when you actually read what you're supposed to be making. Surprise. You actually hit the mark. Uh, whoops. All right, we're definitely, definitely smacking this bad boy out. We want to get those big trains. Nice. All right, what is wrong here? We need a little... Little rail swap. So our trains can function properly. That should fix that problem. Yes. Hopefully we don't run out of coal before then. That would cause lots of problems. And let's fix the worker situation.
Bada boom, bada bing. The inhabitants are unhappy. Oh, you don't have water. What a shame. Cool. And a couple houses down here. Can't wait to start building uh, another town and we can start doing some town specialization and start shipping goods back and forth. Adds a little bit more, a little bit more rails in there. This guy's gonna go too. It's gonna be awesome. The inhabitants are unhappy. It's always water. Good. Just a quick little sip of coffee. Let this run for a second. Just to see where all of our numbers are looking. Produce wood per minute. Oh no. Where are we at on this? Uh, I'm going to try to catch this up just a little bit so we're not too far behind. And the production of clothes per minute. Are we just not using? Oh yeah, we're not using it. Da -da -da -da. Production is 150. I'm probably going to have to check off the population next to be able to get to the next mark. Not enough workers. We're coming. We're coming. We're going to let that train out first. That way, uh, this guy is not stuck. I'm half tempted to make a little loop here. Just to keep coal in. That's gonna, it's gonna suck. It's gonna bog things down a little bit. So. Production of wood per minute. What are we producing over here? We've got five. 225. We could smack this up and then that'll help. That'll help with uh, population over yonder. I'll throw some trees down here, make it make it look good. because our industry is uh, taking up quite a quite a bit of our attractiveness. We could throw down some housing over here. Not sure about these guys here. We'll have to find out. I think it might be just out of reach. Yep. Do the same over here. Be interested to know what you guys do for uh, layouts. I kind of stick to the grid. It's it's just going from the you know the first release and having as limited of space as we did. It was just you know the most efficient. And now that we have more room in the getting to stone roads being able to expand more I would imagine we're gonna have some more uh, unique layouts but for the time being probably shouldn't jack up the population quite as much just kind of stick to it be interested to see I tend to stick to you know the vertical and horizontal 2x3 layout. 
seems to work pretty well. Uh, we're probably going to need to do some fish. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's, let's wrap it up this way. Not exactly what I was hoping for there, but sure. You, you. That way we get some trees and stuff in here. Oh, I was hoping we could squeeze one in there. That would have been cool. Hopefully get our attractiveness back up from a negative. That'd be lovely. 0.2, I'll take it. Population of laborers. There we go, wheat. So, my idea with wheat, let's make sure nothing crazy is going on here, I'm happy. Water. Water. Oh, Mercado. Everybody should be okay? Alright, so my thought process on wheat, right? Wheat ends up going to your town, it ends up going to the dairy farm. Um, uh, there's something else. Let's take a look. So you need it for the hop farm, I think it was. Maybe? Brewery? Off the top of my head, I don't remember all of it, but you have to end up taking wheat to a couple different places that aren't just the city. So, like, it goes to the city, it goes to a couple different farm places, right? And I want it to be in a good spot that has, A, a spot we can like expand it out and have a good amount of space because the farms itself are double the size just about was this 120 and it's 270 um so i want to be able to put a lot so we can try to concentrate a good amount of wheat in one spot and then kind of have it as a hub to go out to different things so i want to try to build it here so we can have a good train line that comes through, right? We'll probably have some type of good junction in here. It'll probably be shifted down and have a good kind of line come down through, like a nice main corridor. And then I want to try to build the wheat farm kind of tucked right here in this corner. So it can come down, feed the city, and then we'll have, you know, other farm areas wherever it's going to be, the meat and the other stuff uh, kind of close by that we can shunt the wheat off of that. My thought process, I feel like this is a good open area. We'll be able to send a lot of lines through. Got a lot of, got a lot of space to work with there. So hopefully it ends up working out pretty well, but we shall see. We shall see. Um, wood per minute. Um, I actually want to... Let's pop two more on here real quick. Just... It's a precursor. To what we know is about to happen. Cool. 
And one more. Kind of finish this area out here. So we need two more cars on here. We need an eight. We do not have a preset for that. We'll just do a little upgrade. And our station, I think, is going to need upgraded as well. Well, double check. Big train. Confirm. And then we'll go look at the. Uh, oh, yeah. Just max these guys out. And then, as well, look at. Uh, let's get there. Plan ahead. Look at us planning ahead. Maybe look at upgrading our. We'll let that run and then we'll come back and we'll upgrade our wood trains. I want to look at getting our wheat farm kind of laid out. So we want to have plenty of room for stretching out. We'll probably start off by building back. Kind of the back two instead of the front like we normally do, just to see what space we have. So again, these are, these are big. That should be good. And if we do one, two, three, should be able to squeeze quite a few in. And like I said, so it's 240, so it is doable. I thought it was 270, but not quite. Two twenty five. So the thing that ends up being a lot of room are these guys. Though you have three four by fours. Got a little bit of space in there too. So like all in all it ends up being a big, big space. Right? So there's that. Now Something we'll have to probably look at as well is we'll probably build another station here and put these people and these people there and then probably move this grouping over here and then bring our wheat crew from here. Expand this out, expand this out, because this is going to be 60 people per, and we're going to build this out. We'll probably build the other sets out as well from over here. So, like so, just so we have a target and we know what's going on there. And let's look at what we gotta do to get, get some of this shifted. We're going to run this all the way out here. Utilize as much space as we possibly can. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite us. Uh, yeah, it will. It's just a little too close for my liking. Go ahead and pause this. So we need to put a through, right? And a station. So we'll probably put it here. Just so that we're not uh, crowding 
crazy on top of ourselves, hopefully. One can hope, right? It's our wish. We'll make it work. We'll just tie in to there. We'll tie into here. We should have enough room to run three or four rails through here. If not, we got room. We can make them just pass through here. We'll, we'll figure it out. Da, 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 da. Let's for now. We're gonna just tie straight in. We'll run this up. The little bridge. So the potato loop will have come here. Let's just go. It's an ugly looking loop, but it'll work. We'll get rid of this. Just run this straight down. And in. Destroy that whole loop. Good. Just to help out a little bit, it should be good. Potato farm should be able to get up and running again. loop this up and around so that ties in that ties in good to go good to go and that I was like, hello. That's how we'll look at that. And we honestly can just swoop this back in. Except we'll need to be able to get back this way. So. Just do a little loop. That should be good. Again, for the moment, we will just tie this all straight in. Try to make it look good, though. I don't like this. It's got to look pretty. from this way. That way we'll have a nice little tie-in point there and then we can clean this up. Cool. 
and that'll be able to feed feed our little farms up here. We can uh, get some trains moved over and build some houses and call it a day. Don't remember what our population cap is. at this level, but I have a feeling it is close. So I'm a bit worried. We're going to change up our, our build style. Just because we can. We're going to need water somewhere in here too. one here hopefully that reaches everybody yes nice Thought maybe we'd hit that wood spike, but nope. So we're gonna just copy this so I don't have to worry about spelling it, and it's gonna be three. Cool. Train, are you confused? Did I mess up signals? I sure did. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. All right, guys. Well, we are out of time for today. Got a nice little template set up for getting into it for the next one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of your day today. And we'll see you next time. Take care.